our original movement that we learned in that first program was to earn that proper retractable strength again, right? In relation to keeping a grounding force or consistent neutral position in the hip joint, okay? But we got to use the ground when we did that. So as we're making progressions, we're gonna take you off the ground. And now you have to learn how to recruit that connection. You're gonna do it more globally. Without having an Yes, without, yeah, without having an assistance you can call, okay? So what we're gonna do here is these are gonna be called your banded prone shoulder dislocations, okay? So now you're on a prone position where you don't get as much recruitment or grounding force, but you're still gonna recruit from that area, okay? Because you don't wanna do this where you're lifting through your neck and yeah. your lower back and your legs are cheating. Yeah. So you're gonna fight all those instances. You pull your pelvis into this and now you're going globally. So if I start here, so the weight are down and back, I'm gonna pull some separation on there, pull around the body, okay? Pulling the toes inward, abs tight. And I'm going up and over, okay? To make it harder, you would move your body a little bit farther through. Okay. I'm a guild torso test. So, yeah, so you would start, you know, here, and then as you're making progression, you could go even past the sternum, okay? So go for that. 